Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get all of the five shines and also the three silvers and the Beast Worm Simulator Roblox of the game's event. So basically, this one will be a little grindy. If you haven't played the game ever before, you're gonna be in for a hot or super hard grind. Like it took me, I think, about 40 minutes because I've played this game so much before, but you know, it's very grindy otherwise, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I recommend if you have played the game before and you have good stuff that, you know, you do this one because it's easy, but if not, it's going to be a long grind. So, you know, go over to Sunbear and basically this Sunbear will basically get, tell you that, uh, you'll have to start off with some golf, basically a golf based Beast Worm game, which is a little weird for Beast Worm, but I mean, you know, Hey, whatever. So you want to go over, uh, wait, let's see where our quests are. So your quests have to be get 200 pollen and get your first goal in the dandelion field. So our quest will be the same, by the way, and I'll also show you all the shines as well, but uh, I'll have to show you the shines later. So you basically need to hit the ball over here. I'm going to speed up the video, not horribly like sped up where you can't understand it, but you guys get the idea. Basically move the ball over here, try to get it over to the goal. Now it's kind of annoying because it can go slower fast, which is why the last task can be really hard to do. I ended up getting really lucky, but that was completely luck based for me. But unfortunately, um, yeah, it's going to take some grinding, unfortunately, which is not fun, but hey so make sure to put that over there um you want to just keep going back and forth now what i didn't know is that you need to get a certain amount of xp on the like get, by xp like flowers and all the, like the pollen you collect in order to do so um in order to like actually hit it and there's different leveled ones like level four eight and one are the ones i've seen the most you basically just need to keep getting them like that once you collect enough pollen and you get that um golf ball and not golf why did i say golf ball guys wait even i don't yeah i don't know wait is, no i'm right guys i'm just i don't know i'm not good with sports but you can see i got my um task done so yeah once you do that go over and talk to the sun bear once you talk to sun bear they'll give you the first batch thankfully and then you can go on to your next quest which gets harder unfortunately that's the case for all these um yeah so a bonus very good gives you some in-game stuff so if you play this game there you go but you also got the first batch so now you want to talk to Sun Bear again, and your next target will be in the fields. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be annoying to do. So, yeah, you now need to have more time on this quest, and other people can help you, but you only one person can really get it. So basically, you have to kill two beetles, you have to get pollen in this field, and then you have to hit targets, and then also... Here you go. So you can see you have to activate two um, targets, uh, get some two goals into there, and then also kill two beetles. So you don't really need the pollen, but you're going to have to take it anyways. So, yeah. So uh, to get the golf ball, again, um, you need to get it over here and get it into your goal twice. Kill two beetles. So when you kill the first one, wait a little bit for the other one to spawn back. And then obviously hit two targets, which is to basically use the golf ball um, to hit two targets around the map. And then also this fence will be covering it, which is kind of annoying. You'll see the targets over here. So you want to basically get the ball over to the target. So I would recommend moving it a little bit. Um, so yeah, move the target over here, move the golf ball, get it over to the first target. And then you will get also that part of the quest done. Uh, there are two different targets. One of them is a little annoying to get to, unfortunately. But overall, you should be fine to get it um yeah then you want to move that over here it'll turn green once you do that then you want to get the other one now thankfully there are two that spawn in but one of them is a higher level and also the one i was trying to get was stuck so i had to wait for the same one to respawn because someone decided to get it stuck behind the flower also at some point while i'm here i accidentally collect the shines um i don't know if you guys noticed but i um, one of the shines will be behind the blue flowers just wanted to point that out because i accidentally picked it up so um yeah you see where these two big flowers are yeah I'll, i accidentally end up picking up the shine but you'll collect your uh quest so yeah i just want to let you guys know i don't think i mentioned it because i was talking about the actual quest but one of the shines is behind the two big flowers in that field so that's where one of them will be i accidentally collected it while i was doing all this so yeah i'll let you guys know again where it is but the two big flowers near the beetles um little where the beetle spawns there should be a shine behind that the golf ball was covering it so i ended up touching it even now but here we go we're done and we got our second badge here we go on to the third one so yeah you can see a bunch of quests now so basically in this um one you have to get um a different targets collected you also have to collect pollen you also have to get a hole in one and you also have to keep grinding and now these golf balls they require a lot more like a hundred thousand honey or all that all the touching the flowers and everything 
not 20,000 like the other ones. So that's why I said it's going to be a really annoying grind because you do have to grind a little bit. And if you don't have good stuff, this could take a while. Um, also be aware that there are a lot of traps, like it can sink into the honey or whatever this is. You have to basically get them on the targets. You can see all these tasks over here. You can also read the tasks for yourself, but you basically can complete them like this. Um, and yeah, it's very annoying. Unfortunately, it is a really annoying grind, but you will get to it eventually, thankfully. So yeah, but um yeah you can see all the quests are here we almost get finished um so yeah it's just a lot of grinding so you can see all the quests collect 2500 pollen obtain three bees activate three targets with the golf ball hit three balls um in the holes where the sunflowers are like into like the hole over there and then you also need to get a hole in one so those are your quests if you didn't know um obtain three bees is pretty simple um i didn't obviously do it in the video because i already have like 80 bees so there's no point in me buying anymore plus i can't because my hive is full but um yeah then you want to go over here and i'm putting my own pollen away so one second all right and then what you want to do is get a hole in one so what i did over here is you want to get the ball in, into there so it will be annoying to do unfortunately but you have to just keep grinding it out yeah i know it's boring but it's what the game is trying to do now if you go fast or slow that's why the hole in one is very rng based it's very annoying now our final task is to get the hole in one so yeah that one's gonna unfortunately be very annoying and honestly not my favorite beast swarm event i definitely enjoyed the other ones better but you know it's not horrible so here's our last quest you need to get the ball uh, as a hole in one so yeah don't do what i did with the ball if it sinks into the mud that'll be annoying but I, I hit the ball over there and it gets stuck so just be very careful in order not to you know lose it but yeah if you hit it try to hit it and get a hole in one yeah like that i got lucky that it bounced over there it wouldn't have done that otherwise You'll get your quest done once you do all that. Again, one of the shines was behind the two flowers. So if, if you guys are going to ask for it, the two big blue flowers near the where the beetle spawns is where the first shine is. Okay? All right. And there you go. Just like that. We have finished all of the silver. And also, we have one shine badge already. So let's go on to the other four. So the second shine badge that you will get will be in the shop over here. Make sure to grab that one. And then right outside the shop, there should be also another one right around this corner i ended up not finding it immediately one second over in this corner over there near the christmas tree and then the next one that you can end up finding is gonna be in the shop area uh not the normal one the one over here we can buy special eggs and pets or not really pets but bees there you go that's your fourth one and then your final one which you need will be over here on this bus so let's go ahead and go over to the bus so now you want to climb this bus once you climb the bus you need to touch it and that's how you get all of the five shines and three silvers so let's get, i think that's gonna wrap it up for the video again i cannot stress this enough the two big flowers over here right here are where your last shine will be um so yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one